Now then, my friends, I fancied fish and chips today, and I thought, do you know what? I'll go down to Wilco's and I'll do uh, Wilkinson's and I'll do the fish and chips there. Then I thought, do you know what? No, because I'm sure they're okay, but I want proper fish and chips. And the only place that you're going to get proper fish and chips is in Yorkshire, isn't it? Now then, I am super excited. I'm going to use super excited today because these are the winners. These have been crowned winners of the BBC television show with Sarah Cox. Uh, and uh, it's, it's called, uh, looking on here, it's uh, Britain's Top Takeaways or something. But they've been crowned the number one fish and chip shop uh, on the show. Uh, it says here, uh, ultimately, it, it herds family fisheries were crowned winners of the show alongside joint winner Simpsons uh, from Cheltenham and um, Herd's Family Fisheries is a family run business operated by Adam Hurd and his wife Alison, daughter Amber and son Aidan. So it's a family business which is what we want. We're looking at family businesses, supporting family businesses and Adam has worked in the hospitality for many years before uh, the family opened their own fish and chip shop just over 10 years ago in Siddle. So we're going to take a ride over there in my electric car hopefully I've got enough charge uh, we're gonna go over there we're gonna have fish chips we're gonna have the mushy peas we're gonna have curry sauce we're gonna mark it out of ten it's won many many accolades many many different awards uh, it, it does bother me somewhat when they've when all the every fish and chip shop that you see has a bloody award doesn't it they're all award-winning anyway Let's see, let's reserve judgment. I mean, the BBC have given them uh, the, their top award for Britain's top takeaway. So, I mean, if the BBC have said it, then uh, they're probably not that good. Uh, controversial, we're <laughs> just kidding. We're gonna head over there now. Uh, gonna get in the car and mark them out of 10. I am looking forward to it. If you are new to the channel, by the way, please do hit that subscribe button uh, and uh, click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. And you're thinking, why should I subscribe? Why should I subscribe? Because it's great here and we're all one big happy family. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go to Yorkshire. Now then, who's heard of doom scrolling, right? Doom scrolling. It's basically when you just scroll aimlessly uh, on your phone. Uh, and I found myself doom scrolling uh, the other day. I was in bed, I've not been overly well. And I thought, you just scroll through aimlessly. And I ended up finding out some completely useless information. However, because one thing leads you to another. So basically, when I was a kid, I used to watch something called Play School. If you're from the UK, you'll know what Play School is. Um, Humpty Dumpty and look through the round window, etc. And there was Floella Benjamin. And one of Flo Floella Benjamin's co-presenters was an Australian guy. Now, I forgot all about him. Can't remember his name. You can pop it in the comment section down below. So he came up and for some reason, I've no idea why this came up at all. However, his daughter was married to Russell Crowe. So I ended up going from play school for Ella Benjamin, this guy who was an Australian actor who had a daughter who used to be married to Russell Crowe. So there you go. Uh, one thing leads to another, doom scrolling. And I thought to myself, yeah, I ended up searching, thinking, oh, I wonder who his daughter is then. His daughter's married to, and it's just completely, Useless information, really, but there we go. Anyway, if you, know, if you can remember his name, pop it in the comment section uh, down below. There we go. I tell you, I'm still not 100%. Whatever, whatever virus I've had, and it wasn't the virus, really has knocked me off my feet. It's knocked me for absolute six, this has. And uh, my appetite's been off. I've lost about, I suppose it's a good diet, because uh, I've lost about a stone and a half, uh, which is always good especially when you're eating lots and lots of full English breakfast and fish and chips. I'm sure I'll soon put that back on. Anyway, come on, onwards. Oh, 
traffic jam. Well, while we've got you in a traffic jam, we've got a little time to talk. Um, who remembers back in the day, back in the day, who remembers, was it, you got play school, I said earlier on, but you'd got play away as well with Brian Kant. Now, I used to watch that, I used to love that, but I never understood it because you got play away and play school were the kind of the same thing, I can't remember offhand. And you'd got Mr. Ben, you got the Flumps, uh, you'd also got Bagpuss. I mean, I loved Bagpuss. That was one of the best programs. It was excellent where the and the mice and the mantelpiece went back to sleep. Do you know, you look back at that and you think, oh, that was on for years. And I think they only ever made something like, don't quote me on this, about seven or eight episodes of it literally hardly made that many uh, many many bag puffs but there all these programs back in the day for me were way 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 better then you've got Jamie and the magic torch as well which used to be on at lunchtime I believe you've got uh, blue Peter but you'd also got uh, magpie now who remembers that I even did a bit of a doom scrolling for uh, was it Mick I think his name was Mick Robinson and he was on uh, he was actually on Magpie and I've searched and I cannot find where it what actually has happened to him He seems to have disappeared off the face of the earth. I think he's still alive But I don't know what he's doing if you know what Mick Robertson or whatever his name was from uh, Magpie is doing pop it in the comments section down below do a bit of doom scrolling anyway We're moving now come on onwards <laughs> I'm sorry, I've got to pull off at the services. Easy, Tiger, it's a family channel. Uh, I need a, uh, I need a little bathroom break. Heart said more. Here we go, oh blimey, there's a bit of a jam. Probably waiting to get to charge the cars up. Hey, actually, while I'm here, I'll just have a quick look and I'll see how many people are actually in the electric car charging points. Here we go, look, in fact, here we go, look, electric. And it's even pointing it out, where are we? drive through coffee, drive through Starbucks. What's the point in that? You actually pull off at the services for a break. You don't need to drive through, have a coffee and keep going. No. Now then, where are we? Never seen services so, so busy. I can't even get a, a parking spot. Um, lots and lots of car charging points now. Uh, Tesla ones and uh, it's absolutely insane. There's literally nowhere to park. I think I'm gonna have to um, give that one a miss and just get back on the road. Oh dear. Right, okay, come on. Onwards, I think it's school holidays, that's probably why. Never seen it so busy. Absolute madness. At least there's some charging points. I just don't need any at the moment. Right, come on, onwards. I've got to say, where on earth is this sat nav taking me? I have no idea. It tried to take me down a narrow little road that this car would not even go down. So these fish and chips had better be good. I'm literally, where am I? I'm in the middle of nowhere now. I don't know where I am. I've had to just, right, we go right here. These better be good fish and chips. <laughs> Right, I think I'll park here and have a walk down, have a little bit of uh, fresh air and see if there's a loo on the way. I need the loo. Uh, right, turn that off. There we go. Right, uh, yeah, come on. Reminds me of last of the summer wine country a little bit. Out in the open with the hills and stuff. Just looking for Compo and Clegg. Come on. That walk up to the camera that I did back there, there was a lady in a car and she was like this. 
looking at me going out, I thought she can hit me with a broomstick or something. <laughs> Beautiful though, look at the hills, very nice. Excited. Uh, do I have? Is it haddock? Isn't it? That's right. So I'll have a, I'll have a regular haddock, please, with chips. Uh, one curry sauce. Just, just a small curry sauce, thanks. Oh, chip shop or Irish? Now then, uh, what would you reckon? We'll go. Have one of each. I've what? Look at this upselling. Uh, we'll go. Uh, we'll just go traditional, I think. Yeah, we'll go traditional, uh, and then the mushy peas. Just a small one as well. Just a small one, thanks. And, uh, and a diet coke. And that's me done then. Thank you. Thank you very much. Just the. Can we get a bottle of Fanta orange? You're the owner. He's the owner. You're the owner. You're the, are you the boss? I am the boss. You yeah. are the boss. I yeah. like that. Yes, I like that. <laughs> oh, that's anyway. <laughs> so you never know. Oh, there you are on TV up there. That's yeah. it. That's it. Yeah. Did you yeah. meet Sarah Cox? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Excellent. She was really nice, actually. Um, we, I think we had a few chats that were off camera yeah. and stuff like that. She yeah. tried to get us to try our halloumi fries. Yeah. And um, she was really nice. Yeah. 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 She was really nice. Yeah. 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 They were a good hit anyway. She loved. She did like the halloumi fries. She tried a bit of everyone's food. Um, but you won. I know. You won. <laughs> I actually couldn't believe it. To be fair. I know it's the first time I've seen you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I actually was that gobsmacked. I couldn't even say anything. I was literally like. <laughs> well, I can't wait. I can't, do you know what? You're building these up now, though, aren't you? Build. I can't wait now. I mean, go blimey! I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> it was great. It was absolutely. Black pudding fries. Yeah. What's what are black pudding fries? So the so it's black pudding cut into strips and then we batter them and then they're with the uh, the apple is it, yeah the apple sauce as well to dip into. Wow. <laughs> There's always something for everyone in here. Wow, black pudding fries, spam and cheddar fritter. Right, I've got to say, I am excited about this because they've got all these awards. They are the winner of uh, Britain's Best Takeaways on BBC as well. So I am looking forward to this. First impressions, chip looks look great. Freshly cooked as well, fish looks good. Let's get the uh, curry sauce and the mushy peas out there as well. Right, before we go any further, my friends, just take a closer look. Right, my friends, so first things first, let's go in for, uh, let's go in for a chip and we'll take uh, some of them mushy peas on there. Mushy peas look good, colour to me, not too fluorescent, you're not going to see them from outer space. Let's go in for that. Wow, they are beautiful mushy peas. Very, very nice. I'm going to go in for a chip. Slight crispiness to the out, fluffy inner, not too greasy. Very good. Wow. Wow. Absolutely. Gorgeous. Going for the fish, nice crispy batter. Look at that fish, wow. Just look at that. Oh. Oh man, 
Wow. Mmm. Really meaty fish. Butter. Beautiful texture. Nice and crispy. Very, very nice. In fact, that batter is perfect. Just listen at that. Mmm. Absolutely gorgeous. Just look at the flakes of fish on that haddock. Mmm. It's going for the curry sauce. Right. I went for the normal curry sauce because that's what I normally have. So I want to be able to check that out. Got a slight kick to it, how it should have. Not too much. Absolutely gorgeous. These fish and chips, proper Yorkshire fish and chips. Oh my word, right. I'll eat these, come back to you, mark it out of 10. Don't forget, I want you guys to mark it out of 10 as well on looks at home. This, oh man. Mmm. Absolutely beautiful. Right. That batter's perfect. I'll see you guys very shortly. Thoroughly enjoying this, I've got to tell you. By the way, everything in there, really surprised and pleasantly surprised, is gluten free. So it's gluten free batter, everything is gluten free. Absolutely fantastic. That is spot on. Oh man. Beautiful, really, really nice. Thoroughly enjoying these. Right, I tell you, I can wind this up now because this has been some excellent fish and chips. Um, and I've said before as well, family businesses in this day and age make a difference because they put their heart and soul into, into their produce. And um, it's all about, it's their business, so it's from the heart. And you can tell these are quality, fish and chips and they deserve all the awards uh, that they've got on the wall there as well uh, and I actually have to say they deserve to have won the um, Britain's best takeaway with Sarah Cox because these are superb fish and chips and um, gluten free as well uh, which is a bonus I've thoroughly enjoyed these I'm gonna eat the rest of these uh, now <coughs> excuse me I'm um, absolutely spot-on I mean, price-wise, got the receipt here. Here's a copy of the receipt. Come to 11 pounds, uh, including my uh, Diet Coke there as well, which I think is spot on. Um, really, really enjoyed them. That's Herds Family Fisheries. Uh, I'll pop their, uh, they've got a Facebook page and they've got social media, etc. So I'll pop that in the um, description down below. Pop along and visit them for yourself. They're really, really friendly people in there as well. Um, for me, um, it's a, it's, it's got to be a 10 because there's nothing wrong with these fish and chips. They are spot on and I'm really, really enjoying them. Anyway, uh, you can go away now and I'm going to eat the rest of these chips. I'm not wasting any of them. I'm going to eat all the mushy peas as well. The mushy peas was spot on. Absolutely gorgeous. Honestly, superb. Well done. Knocked it out of the ballpark. We'll see you guys in the next one. Beautiful. Mmm. Oh.
well worth the drive. Oh, you know, they just came out to talk to me, the family did, after I'd finished eating. And I've got to say, I stand by it. Family businesses. Because the, the most important ingredient in any, anything that you eat or anything that I review is love. And if you don't have that main important ingredient, then there's no point. And with a family business like that, the main ingredient is love. And that is what makes the difference. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed them. Well deserved 10. Well deserved.